Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Clark here, your librarian. There are three books I'm going to tell you about that are available for checkout in the library today. The first book is called Starfish. Ever since Ellie wore a whale swimsuit and made a big splash at her fifth birthday party, she's been bullied about her weight. To cope, she tries to live by the fat girl rules, like no making waves, avoiding in eating in public, and don't move so fast that your body jiggles. And she's found her safe space, her swimming pool, where she feels weightless in a fat-obsessed world. In the water, she can stretch herself out like a starfish and take up all the room she wants. It's also where she can get away from her pushy mom, who thinks criticizing Ellie's weight will motivate her to diet. Fortunately, Ellie has allies in her dad, her therapist, and her new neighbor, Catalina, who loves Ellie for who she is. With this support bu buoying her, Ellie might finally be able to cast aside the fat girl rules and starfish in real life by unapologetically being her own fabulous self. Ellie's tired of being fat shamed and does something about it in this incredible novel in verse. This book just won an amazing award called the Prince Honor and it shouldn't be missed. The next book is The Silence of Our Friends. This best-selling graphic novel is based on the true story of two families, one white and one black, who find common ground as the civil rights struggle heats up in 1967 Texas. A white family from a notoriously racist neighborhood and a black family from its poorest ward cross the color line, overcoming humiliation, degradation, and violence to win the freedom of five black college students unjustly charged for a murder. The story deals with a bunch of real-world issues, including family relationships, friendship, dependency, and most importantly, the search for common ground. While the story is heart-wrenching, there are moments of hope and beauty, and the graphic novel format will suck you in. I highly recommend this graphic novel to learn more about Black history for the month of February. The last book I will tell you about is one for the Murphys. Carly uses humor and street smarts to keep her emotional walls high and thick, but the day be she becomes a foster child and moves in with the Murphys, she's blindsided. This loving, bustling family shows Car Carly the stable family life she never thought existed, and she feels like an alien in their cookie-cutter perfect household. Despite her resistance, the Murphys eventually show her what it feels like to belong, until her mother wants her back and Carly has to decide where and how to live. She's not really a Murphy, but the gifts they've given her have opened up a new future. This is a fearless, realistic story that's compassionate, thought-provoking, and beautifully told. From the first page, you'll be drawn into Carly's story. This book is written by the same author as Fish in a Tree, so I highly recommend it to you if you enjoyed that book. If you're interested in any of these books, they will be available for checkout at the circulation desk when you visit the library today. Be sure to snag a copy and have a great day!